Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, rvccis.info, where the full-time faculty for Rock Valley College's Computers and Information Systems Department talks about things, you know, in general, uh, related to computers and information system stuff. Uh, and today is certainly one of those days. Um, today, we'll continue with our, um, our series here on our certifications and what they can do for you. Uh, and today it's the CCNA, which is Jim's territory. So he's going to take us out. Thanks, Eric. Um, yeah, so Cisco recently, as they are want to do, as Stephanie knows, they changed the certification. And they got rid of quite a few of them. We used to have, uh, there was one called a CSENT, Cisco Certified Entry Level, which a lot of our students would take. And then they would be a CCNA, which is Cisco Certified Network Associate, and then a Network Associate Security, and VoIP, and video. And they've kind of gotten rid of all of that, and they've gone back to the basics. And they've uh, come up, revamped the CCNA again. So it's the Cisco Certified Network Associate, but you have to like the correct number like Stephanie mentioned in uh, the A-plus certification. You always want to look at the number because that's the version that you need to take. So the new exam is 200-301, and we'll put links in there and things like that. What's interesting, you don't want to get this um, to confuse you, but it says version 1. And it's just that they've really, they've gotten rid of the CSENT, so I think they, they're just starting over with the certification, and I think that's why they put the version 1. Now, the nice thing for you students at Rock Valley is that our Cisco curriculum maps exactly to that certification, which is really, really nice because it's a big one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 120 minute exam and it covers six major domains. It's got network fundamentals, which is about 20%. It has network access, which is 20%. It has IP connectivity, 25%, IP services, 10%, security fundamentals, 15%, and automation and programmability is 10%. And what Cisco does, their theory is, is sometimes you just need knowledge of it in terms of you can know the definitions, you can explain it, but on a lot of the topics, you also not, even, not only need to learn it, but you need to know how to configure it. So that's, uh, it's a kind of a gold standard for certifications, I think I'm prejudiced, but I, I think it really is. And it makes you, when you go to take the test, uh, it makes you configure a few things. There's usually three or four questions on it that you have to configure routers or switches or use show commands to decide what to do. So it's kind of stressful. Uh, there's no getting around it, but we'll talk about that as well as uh, the stresses of taking certification tests next week uh, or the week after. But again, as I said, our PCT 120, PCT 122, and PCT 124, which is Cisco 1, 2, and 3, map to the new certification. Steffi and I just went through this, and now it's uh, the, the Networking Academy is now up to version 7.0. And the reason that they went up to 7.0 is to align to the new certification. It's as simple as that. And the exciting thing is, is not only do we have that, you map to that certification, but we have a certification prep class. Our first one, our inaugural one, is starting off this uh, fall. It's a PCT 290 which since it's a brand new class, 290 is kind of our catch-all for new technologies. And it's going to uh, help students study for either A, the A+, or B, the CCNA, or heck, for those of you that are masochists, you can do both, right? So um, in terms of study materials, besides the Networking Academy material, I also went out and got this, and we'll you know, I'll put links to it, but it's Wendell Odom, and he's written these books for years. And the CCNA is such a big test. It's not only one volume, it's two volumes. So you can use it as a doorstop, uh, bookends, whatever you want to do. And when students first see this, that those two big books, and they get 
totally freaked out thinking that's a lot of material. It is, but you start to break it down. And remember that the CCNA, it's over three semesters. There's three separate courses, so it is a lot of material. But, you know, we can help you get through that. So, you know, besides the, the Networking Academy material, the Odom books are good. The other thing that I really like, and I'll put a link out there, is the Cisco Learning Network. You can get a brand new free account. They don't charge you. They don't send you a spam email. And there's a lot of resources on there that are free for students to study the CCNA material. Uh, there's bulletin boards, there's PDFs, there's PowerPoints, there's videos. Uh, I also spent $79. Yes, Stephanie and Eric, I did spend some, <laughs> some of my own money, I'm just saying that, <laughs> uh, on testing software. So I'm taking practice tests now because I, I think I'm going to recertify just for grins just to see what this test is like again. And when, uh, so I've got that and that, that's through the Cisco Learning Network, and that is a 180-day license. So you can take it wherever you want. You don't have to download a testing engine, which is nice. So I could be in a hotel room and take it. I could be at home and take it. I could be at school and take it. Wherever you wanted, you could, you could just log in and take that test. If you did bite the bullet and got Wendell Odom's books, they also give you a license for yet even more practice tests. So... You know, the, the big thing with this certification, I think, is, is you can't just go in there cold. It is, it's a hard test. There's no getting around it. But it's certainly doable. A lot of our students have become certified in Cisco. Um, and one of the things you do is you practice. And then you find out what your weak spots are. And you go back and you study. Uh, when you're doing these practice tests and you say, oh, I don't know about this and I need to review that. So it's, it's really good. So I'll put that Cisco Learning Network link out there. I'll put the Wendell Odom Books links out there. Um, Keith Barker has a YouTube channel who is awesome. He's got a CCIE, which is next to God for certifications, and he's got a great YouTube channel. And if you looked at the uh, the video on A plus that Stephanie did, she had a really good point of you really want to get good source material when you're out on the web. It's it's really easy to be led astray, mm -hmm. and and what Eric said as well, you know, sometimes to just get drilled down and get the information that you need right away, you might have to spend something. You know, spend a little money, get the book. Um, and you want to get the latest and greatest, and you don't want to be led astray with bad material because there's a lot of it out there on the internet. So um, you got to be careful. The other thing I was going to say is, is if you do the networking academy with us, one of the things, if you do well enough on a final exam, you get a discount voucher. So when you're ready to go to take your CCNA, which I think the cost, I think it's around 300 bucks. It's not cheap. But they'll give you a voucher of up to 30 to 40 percent, depending on how well you do on our final exam. And you can take it at our testing center, assuming it's open <laughs> with COVID-19 going on. But um, we don't advertise that, but you could take it there. So uh, there's a lot of benefits to uh, taking our classes and doing it through the Networking Academy. Trying to think of if I left anything off. Stephanie, can you think of anything more? I would say, I was going to say, if the Wendell Odom books are in daunting, you know, they've got a lot of information. What I do is I don't read the whole book. <laughs> Just, I take the test. <laughs> I don't. Right, I don't either. Even though I complain that students never read the book and you know, whatever. So I went all as we say, not as we do. <laughs> right. That's well, in the class, it's one book per class versus that giant book over like a month, right? Yeah. Right. Or two. So if you when you take the um, practice test, you'll see which ones, you, which sections you're missing. Uh, because in the past, and I believe it's still the way it is, is it's a if you miss a subject topic, it's going to ask you about it again. 
And I remember, you know, it's in, it's going to be smart like that. And I remember I'm like, why do I keep getting spanning tree questions <laughs> when I first took it? I'm like, oh yeah, because I'm dumb with spanning tree. <laughs> now I know what I'm talking about, but geez, back then I was just like, oh, that stinks. So when you go through the practice test, you can figure out where you need to to look, you know go back and review, and then you can go to that section in the in the Wendell Oldham book, and it's it's very thorough what you what you need to go through. So that that's yeah. you know, one of the things I would say too. That's a great point because yeah, when you look at those books and you think, well, I already went through you know you know twenty four weeks of material, and now we're saying you know get an Oldham book, and it's got these two huge volumes. But he presents it in a little different way. I've had students previously that have done it, that have read the Odom, and then they look at the Networking Academy of material, and some of them will say, well, I like the Networking Academy of material better, or I like the way Odom explained it better, or I like the way Stephanie explained it better rather than you, Jim. <laughs> you know, it's just everybody's personal preference. So, okay. you know, you just got to kind of, you know, do what's best for you because it's, there is no right answer. It's an individual thing. And choice. Yeah, it's like with subnetting when when we had when we had Lyle. So I sub. Remember when I subbed for Lyle? <laughs> <laughs> so Lyle taught subnetting, and then I subbed for Lyle, and we talked about subnetting again. And then the next time I saw him, he's like, "Always happens." I'm like, "What are you talking <laughs> about, Lyle?" He's like, "Always happens." Anytime somebody else comes in and explains the thing, the subnetting, and it could be exactly the same as how you explained it before, they're like, you did a great job. It's always the, whoever the last person is, it's the one that <laughs> did the great job. So, you know. One of my students that, can I say this? I'm going to say it. He was kind of a pain, you know, <laughs> pain in the butt. And I remember that, that Lyle explained subnetting second. I did it first, and then he did it second. And this guy came up to me and said, yeah, I really like the way Lyle did it a lot better than you did. So, yeah. <laughs> it happens all the time. In fact, there's been some, day, some, some years where I'm like, Jim, I think you need to come visit my class. <laughs> oh, but that's really all I have for... Uh, the CCNA and I'll, I'll send, you know, we'll have the links down below and uh, there is a wealth of resources out there for you yeah, to and look at. I will add Keith Barker's awesome. Plural site is also awesome. I think Keith Barker, does he, he might do videos for Plural site if I'm not mistaken. I, he does. So, he does. and you know, I'm not an uh, advertisement for Plural site, but they do offer a free day free trial so you can look at it and see what you want otherwise it's expensive so yeah well worth it mm -hmm. so you can check out all of those resources down below once jim gets them to me uh in the comments he knows he knows full well <laughs> um while you're down there in the comments also leave us a comment um, and let us know if you are thinking about a CCNA or if you have any stories about having gotten yours. While you're there, everybody, or before you get there, everybody, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe and that bell to be notified of any and all new content. We try to do at least two new videos a week. Um, while you're at it, you can learn about our videos or any of our certifications, any of the events we do. Uh, or any of the other shenanigans in general uh, that we do for rvccis.info or rvc in general by following us on social media. We are at rvccis on both Twitter and Facebook. Here in YouTube, we are rvccis info. Did I say rvccis info for the other two? Um, just like you learned by watching our video here, do as I type, not as I say, and follow the one uh, with the links below. Um, so on behalf of Jim Conley, Stephanie Washer, not seen here, Chuck Conkle, and myself, Eric Wolf, um, stay safe and stay sane out there, everybody.